Welcome to 321 Photoshop. I'm Julianne Cost. Here are three really handy techniques when using masks in Photoshop. First, if you use a tool such as the lasso to select an object and then add a layer mask, you end up with a hard edge. To quickly soften the edge of the mask, use the non-destructive feather slider in the properties panel. This slider can be adjusted at any time without ever affecting the original mask. The feather slider is also a great way to soften the edges of a vector mask as well as of a shape layer. Here I'll add a rectangular shape at the top of the layer stack to create a border around the image. I'll choose Subtract from Shape, then use the On Canvas controls to round the edge. I'll use the shortcut command H on Mac or Control H on Windows to hide the interface and increase the feather slider to soften the edge. Second, it can sometimes be difficult to determine if there are any small areas in the layer mask that have been missed. To view the mask more clearly, I'll add the stroke layer style set to red. Then I'll tap B to select the brush and paint with white in the mask to clean up any of those missed areas. When finished, I'll simply drag the layer effect to the trash. And third, I want to selectively add a color tone over this image. First, I'll command click on Mac or control click on Windows on the layer mask for the boat to load it as a selection. Then I'll add the shift key and command or control click again on the rocks layer mask to add it to the selection. When I add a solid fill layer, Photoshop automatically adds the mask based on the selection. I'll change the blend mode to color, select the mask, and then click the Invert option on the Properties panel. If I want to tone back the color overall, I can use the Opacity slider in the Layers panel. If, however, I want to lighten the mask to see the color tone in the boats and rocks, I can decrease the density of the mask using the Density slider. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.